Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, and I'm actually just popping on here real quickly before um, I pre-recorded the video you guys are watching today. But I really, I would forgotten to mention today's Feature Friday, which is a Love Notions pattern, and it's the Duet Trousers. Now, I'm gonna be using this trouser pattern, um, actually, you're probably gonna see it next week. I'm gonna do a Sew the Trends, I think, video, maybe next week, maybe the week after, but soon. <laughs> I'm definitely using these pants in my um, fall sewing, and I just wanted to let you all know that it is $5, today only, which is Friday the 24th of September 2021. So um, definitely, I'll have a link to it down below, but definitely go grab it if it's one that you're interested in making as well. Um, there is a phenomenal fit workbook that comes with that pattern on how to fit your pants. Um, it's just, it's really good. It's worth its weight in gold. So if nothing else <laughs> for other pant patterns, um, identifying fit issues and all that stuff, you want to grab this pattern. So I have it linked down below, it's $5 today only. All right, now on to the very fun and exciting my stop on the Style Maker Fabrics Fall Style Tour. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today is my stop on the Style Maker Fabrics Fall Style Tour. <laughs> It's that time of year again, and it's so exciting. Okay, guys, first things first, I will leave a link to Style Maker, obviously, down below. And I'll leave a link to, I mean, uh, the fabrics that I've used here for my look. But, oh my gosh, when, um, when I was asked to be a part of the tour again, and then she sends out all of the new fabrics that are coming out, um, like the new stuff that she's just pulling out for fall and winter, um, there's, it was so hard narrowing things down. There's so many good things. I mean, to the point where when she, when you send in kind of what you're thinking for, you know, your outfit, she wants you to send in a couple of different options just because if someone else is already, she only wants to give, you know, each fabric one to each person so that people aren't doing the same fabric, obviously, so you can see a wide range of everything. And, um, I mean, I could have literally listed like 10 different ones, <laughs> like outfits that I could have done. You anyway, know, I kept it down. But um, anyway, so good. So definitely go have a look at everything that she has got for um, the upcoming season. And this is not just, I mean, my color palette, she killed it. But Michelle and I also have a very similar color palette, so it's not unusual for her to have a lot of fabrics that really go well with my coloring, but um, she's got some really great cooler stuff too. Um, some beautiful like, um, you know, dark like reddish pinkish colors, you know, there's some a lot of cool black and white. I mean, there was just a ton. You've got to go look at everything. <laughs> so good. Okay, so let's talk about my outfit. So I've made a jacket and a dress. Both new to me patterns. Love them both. Can't wait to sew both of them again. So um, I've made a jacket and a dress. Just said that. Um, let's talk about. Let's talk about the. Let's talk about the dress first, because that I'm wearing that in all the pictures. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. I have waxed lyrical. I feel like on my favorite knit for most t-shirts. Now there's definitely a time and place for a rayon knit that's drapey, but my ultimate favorite knit is a great beefy with great recovery cotton spandex blend. It's just, that's just my favorite. Not to say that I don't like other ones because I also enjoy a good cotton modal blend. And I, I do find that there is a place for like a viscose or a rayon jersey um, in different areas. But I mean, I'm just a real fan of a good cotton spandex. And when I saw this fabric on there, I'm like, oh my, I, I've got to have, that has got to be, and this was my number one pick and I got it. Okay, I have made also my first pattern from Pattern Emporium. This is the Wanderlust dress. So, Wanderlust, Wanderlust dress. Um, so, so I had, a couple of people had brought up their patterns. I had not heard of them before. Went and looked at their website. There's quite a few that I'm like, oh my gosh, these are adorable. And I think I bought five patterns that day. Um, and the Wanderlust was one of them. I also bought the Pleats to Meet You um, pants that I'm gonna be putting into my fall capsule wardrobe. I love this dress so much. So, okay, so here, let's talk about the fabric before I show me in the dress. So this actually, um, look at that. Aren't those colors just phenomenal? I just love this so much. Okay, so actually this fabric goes, the stripes run horizontal, selvage to selvage. 
And um, when the fabric arrived, I and I, I knew that when I when I picked this fabric, and when it arrived, I'm like, oh my gosh, this would be so slimming in this dress if I could get the stripes to go vertically. But if your stripe on a knit fabric, most of the time you need the direction of greatest stretch going around your body because knit patterns are often drafted for negative ease, which means that they'll fit and hug your body. So you've got to make sure you have that stretch percentage if you're gonna flip it and go the other way. And I was right on the line with this pattern and I'm like, oh, do I do it? You know, am I brave enough? Um, you know, what if it's too tight and doesn't fit or doesn't look right? And I did and I got lucky, so. Took a gamble, got lucky. So technically this fabric actually goes this way and it looked fine. I was standing in front of the mirror holding it around my body like both ways before I got into it. Um, I just love this so much. Okay, so one thing that I love about this pattern is that she's got, um, so you can do it above, above the knee, a midi or a maxi on this one and then uh, there's quite a few different sleeves and I think a couple of different um, necklines. I love when there's options. But there's also a center back seam on this dress, which I would highly recommend sewing because there's some beautiful shaping that goes on there. Um, but the top and the bottom skirt are actually separate and then you lay the pattern pieces together when you cut everything out so that the whole bodice, so this was a little unwieldy to work with because there's quite a bit of flare once you get past the hip. She also has fantastic fitting instructions in her pattern and she showed um, the difference in making sure that the narrowest, narrowest part of the pattern sits at your narrowest part, um, because if it is a little too low, it can like accentuate your belly and that is not a good look. She even has like before and after pictures of like pinching that up and raising that up and I'm like, how is that even the same like body? Like that is crazy. Um, anyway, I did go ahead and I raised my um, waist by an inch. So I shortened the pattern above the waist an inch to make sure that that narrowest part of the pattern was at my waist and it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. But with her longer length, so with the midi and the maxi, she actually has a short, regular, and tall file. So I was able to print off the short one, which I think is, she said, if you were 5'3 or below to use the short, which I'm 5'2. Now I will say um, I wanted my midi just a little bit shorter and I ended up taking um, two inches off even the shorter file for this one. So I raised the skirt by an inch at my waist and then I took two inches off the hem. Just where I prefer my midi skirts to hit and it is perfect. Um, what else? I did the three quarter length sleeves. I sewed, oh my gosh, what size did I sew? I think I sewed a size 10, no, 12. Mm, I'll write it right here. I'll have to look. <laughs> um, and it fits perfect. I love it. It like skims right where it's supposed to skim. It's fitted at the bust and then skims everything else. Um, and it works absolutely perfect. Um, what did I do? Oh, I did do a full bust adjustment on this, but I did it differently than I normally do my knit full bust adjustments. And she has instructions. I just followed her instructions because I'm like, oh, we'll try and see this and gave myself an extra four inches actually at the bust. So I think I did make a size 10. I made a size 10 and then did a four inch full bust adjustment. So two inches on each side for my chest. But I did the full bust adjustment the way that that is in the pattern. So um, it's like a you pivot and all this stuff. It's kind of, it was neat. Um, and then you end up with the same waist measurement. And then you just get your extra there at the bust. Um, yeah, and it worked out really, really well. So love this. This fabric, I mean, the colors, number one, are just gorgeous. Look at that teal. There's like this gorgeous, like tealy blue color, the rust. There's even some of this like bright yellow that hits every now and again. I mean, these are just, it's like looking at my color card. Um, I did cut my neckband going correctly. So I cut my neckband going with the um, a cr cross grain, which you're supposed to, so that the stretch goes the length of the neckband, because I didn't want to have anything like weird and like gaping or whatever, and that worked out well. And then you get just like, because I cut just along one of these lines, so then I just got like a really cool kind of solidish um, neckband as well, which I thought looked really really cool. Put one of my tags in there. Um, I am just over the moon with this dress. I love it with the boots that I have it paired with. Um, I got some clogs this year, so this will probably get worn with the clogs first because, you know, before I need to actually switch to the boots when it gets cooler. But this is gonna be so great as the weather 
gets really cool because I can throw on like big thick socks with my boots on or um, thick tights also with my clogs if I wanted to. Booties, all sorts of things. Like sky's, you know, the limit on this. Love this dress. And again, this knit, it's just a beefy cotton jersey. It's just, it's got great recovery. It would make a fantastic t-shirt. It would make a fantastic dress, obviously. Um, I want more of these. So some more of that <laughs> knit that I bought that I said was gonna be dresses. Um, I think I'm gonna make another one of these. Although I did buy another dress pattern from them. So I don't know, we'll see what I end up. Uh, maybe I'll try one of those instead, but yeah. Um, cover stitch, to use my cover stitch machine to top stitch around the neckline and also to do my hems on my sleeves. I did not shorten my sleeves at all. I left them as is because they were three quarter length and I think they're fine. And then did the um, beautiful hem, the cover stitch there. I used kind of a rust color thread because I thought that looked nice with all the different color variations. Um, yeah, so that is everything to say about the dress. So good. Okay, I will now pop video of me in wearing the whole thing with the jacket. Okay, now because this is like fit and then it kind of goes in a little bit and then flares out, I really wanted a crop jacket to go with this. Something um, a little nicer, but still casual, something I could easily wear with pants as much as the dress and um, anyway. And I also had my eye, so she's got this um, suede scuba in a few different colors. And when I saw that, um, I was like, God, that sounds so interesting. Like I really want to play around with that and um, yeah, just kind of have, I, I'm interested, I was very interested and, and again, I, I may go back and get more colors, I don't know. Um, I may have already ordered a viscose from that new line to make myself my Rose Claire dress, um, also for my uh, fall sewing. But um, I asked her, I was like, okay, what's the best color match with the knit that I picked and the, um, your scuba and I was like I think it might be this teal color and it totally was so this is the suede scuba in the teal I think it's called dark teal oh my gosh it is so good it feels like butter um this would make this fabric would make fantastic leggings it would make a fantastic skirt because um vegan leather or faux leather is very in you know you're seeing it everywhere for fall both in skirts and pants and stuff like that and this totally could come off as a faux I mean it's it's a suede um scuba and it, you could totally pull it off as suede so I feel like my little jacket looks like a suede jacket and I absolutely love it so this pattern is the cozy jacket from pattern scout and I actually found this one looking for a crop jacket to make for my daughter a while ago and I'm like oh, that is so cute and there's even an expansion that you can take um, buy and I bought it <laughs> it's like extra five dollars to turn this pattern into a jacket but it's like a cropped kind of looser fitting jacket and now I think I need one of those in flannel so we'll see if that <laughs> happens or not but I am just over the moon with this pattern it's very boxy but that's what I wanted um it's got these adorable little pockets here in the front it just has a center front zipper this cute little collar it is unlined and what I love about this fabric is that the back side of the fabric this is kind of like a navy color um is slick so because it's a scuba, it's like that neoprene, but it's slick, so it goes over my dress like a dream. So it's almost like having a lining like built in. It, it's really, really good. So you get like the suede on the outside and then the slippery on the inside. Um, I just, I mean, it reads a little bit like, um, it's like an upscale hoodie is what I feel like this jacket is. Um, obviously, this pattern does come with a hood option, but I obviously just did the stand-up collar. Um, put in a navy zipper, because that's what I had in my stash. Um, I mean, there's not much to say about it. This went together so quickly. Um, I made, gosh, why can't I remember the sizes that I made on any of this? I'll put it down here, what size I made. I'll also put it down in the description box. But the only alterations that I made, I shortened the body by um, an inch and a half because I wanted it a little more cropped and, you know, I needed things uh, shortened anyway. <laughs> and then I shortened the sleeves by an inch as well. And um, it's a drop shoulder jacket, supposed to be, and I think that everything works, you know, really, really well. It has, this jacket has these beautiful, like, deep hems on the sleeves, which you can roll up if you want more of, like, a bracelet length. And then still have um, the main fabric showing, you know. 
like they can cuff very easily. Um, this jacket also comes with options to, I mean, I just did a straight hem on mine, which is one of the views, or you could put in, um, there's instructions on how to do elastic into the hem. So it's more of like a hoodie type jacket, which I think would also be really, really cute. And also you could put um, elastic into the cuff as well. Um, just for something a little different. So it's a great little pattern and it just pairs beautifully with this suede scuba. It's just so good and this color is just amazing. I mean, I have a feeling that this is gonna be like my go-to grab a jacket um, all fall probably. Uh, just because it's easy to throw on, it's a great color and it's gonna go with like everything in my wardrobe because teal is one of my fall colors that I'm working with this fall. And I love it. <laughs> Anyway, there you have it guys. That is my fall style tour outfit for the Style Maker Fabric um, release. Again, I have snagged um, a rayon from them that's gonna be the Rose Claire dress. Um, and it's a rayon that came in two different colorways. So stay tuned for that. I will be showing you that finished dress. Um, I haven't made it yet, but <laughs> I will be showing you that here very, very soon um, so that you can get your hands on some of that fabric um, before you know it goes. You don't want anything to sell out. Um, it's such a good one. So anyway, and I think it'll look great with that jacket as well, so. <laughs> loving all of it. So yeah, so now is the time to go over and have a look at everything that Michelle has, that Michelle and Sharon have to offer over on Style Maker Fabrics. It's their whole new fall and winter release. It's always so much fun to see all the new fabrics that pop up. Um, and yeah, just really get you inspired and in the mood to do some cold weather sewing. I just love it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you get some sewing in this weekend. That is my hope. And um, yeah, I'll be back next week. Now, you're watching this on Friday and my daughter's homecoming dance is tomorrow when you're watching this. So um, yeah, I will have her um, all the dress talk and um, the final look and all that kind of stuff up on the channel probably next week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you don't miss any of the good stuff I have planned. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. Again, have a wonderful weekend. I have the final um, sew along for the Teddy top on Sunday. And uh, yeah, then I'll be back on Tuesday. Right, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>